which I will whoop, hopefully not break and try to rip. <gasps> I broke my fragrance. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Josephine here. Today I have a very exciting video because it is the first time that I'm talking about a high street brand on this channel. Now there has been a very exciting collaboration that has been done with amazing Jo Malone herself with Zara. So she curated eight fragrances for Zara known as the Zara Emotions Collection and I have with me five scents today which I will Whoop. Hopefully not break and try to re- <gasps> I broke my fragrance! Oh no! Great. Well at least it smells good. So before I get into this review, I just wanted to mention really quickly the format that the fragrances come in. So they come in 90 ml and they're very affordable. They're at 25 99 pounds, which is a bit higher than the core range from Zara. But when you think of it, you get a bit of a piece of Jo Malone with you for a very affordable price. And the fragrances that I have here are rollables. They're all in Eau de Parfum concentration. And the rollables are at 5 99 pounds. So so again, quite affordable for what they are. Now, without further ado, let's begin with the first fragrance because it is dripping all over the floor um, and it is broken. So let's just start with this one. So the first fragrance I have here is Tuberose Noir. So you may guess that this is a tuberose based scent, but there is also Ylang Ylang and Sana Wood in here. Now, when I first smelled this fragrance, I got a very strong fruity ylang ylang side from it, more so than the tuberose. So the fruitiness comes from an ingredient that is actually common to ylang ylang, tuberose and jasmine, and that is benzyl acetate. And that is what I smell. It gives sort of like a banana-y, apple-like scent, which is quite, in my opinion, quite narcotic. Uh, this is definitely a strong tuberose scent and quite overpowering. Now, this sharpness in the opening then will eventually smooth down down as you wear it but to me it is quite powerful so if you do like tuberose perhaps have a look at this one but for me it's a little bit too strong so the second fragrance that I have is Amalfi Sunray and this fragrance is inspired by the Italian Riviera so it has notes of bergamot mandarin and orange flower and this is definitely a summer fragrance it is to put it simply an association between mandarin and neroli nothing more and nothing less it's nothing very complex but it smells good it's fresh it's a fresh citrus floral fragrance uh, the mandarin adds a really lovely touch of sweetness and that is softened by the fresh floral facet of neroli now this fragrance to me is a happy fragrance it is bright and it's very easy going and a safe grab for summer I would say that it leans more towards unisex feminine rather than masculine only because the mandarin here is quite sweet. Perhaps if there was a support of woods in the background, it would be more masculine, but this is more on the feminine side. Then we have Vetiver Pomplemousse, which is another citrus scent and probably one of my favorite in the collection, simply because it is to me the most Jo Malone scent. So Jo Malone, after creating the famous Jo Malone brand, has created a new brand called Jo Loves, which I've already talked a little bit about on this channel. And one of the characteristics of this brand is that I'm Jo Malone herself is that she loves citrus and she does citrus so well and to me Vetiver Pomplemousse is this is what she is and it's it's a wonderful fragrance so of course there is Vetiver grapefruit in here but there's also mandarin but essentially it's a play between grapefruit and Vetiver and actually even though there's three main notes in each of the uh, fragrances so far what I can see is that there's a very big play between two ingredients and in this case like I said, it is grapefruit and vetiver. Now you need to like grapefruit for this fragrance because it is very strong and the grapefruit in here, it's sharp, it's bitter. I can almost taste the grapefruit in my mouth, as odd as this sounds. It reminds me of that moment when you've cut open the grapefruit and you've cut the little pieces inside and you take your spoon and scoop up that grapefruit and there's a bit of juice that spits out. This is what it reminds me of. So the grapefruit, as I said, is very fresh, it's bitter, 
and it's made super elegant. And the reason why it is made elegant is because of the vetiver. The vetiver gradually comes out and just brings an understated elegance to the fragrance. And this is why I think Jo Malone does her citruses so well, is because they're always very elegant and different than any of the citruses that I've smelt so far. This is a great perfume, I would say, for both men and women. It is extremely unisex, and it is really great for the summertime. It actually reminds me a little bit of her fragrance from Jo Love's Pomelo, the same effect, I would say. Definitely, if you're a fan of citrus fragrances, I highly recommend you go and check this one out. The fourth perfume that I have here is Fleur de Patchouli. So I wanted to pick this scent because it is a patchouli based scent. I'm not a huge fan of patchouli as of now, but I did want to pick out a variety of scents that I could review for you guys. So in here there is patchouli, peony and gayak wood. So it sounds like it is floral woody fragrance. When I smelled this, first of all, I'm going to be super honest, I do not like the scent because I'm not a huge fan of patchouli but actually this fragrance is in my opinion this is gonna sound harsh but I'm gonna be 100% honest to me this smells like a watered-down version of Coco Mademoiselle it has this sheep quick character but it isn't it doesn't have the effervescence of Coco Mademoiselle and it shouldn't have because it is an entirely new fragrance but to me it smells the most high street out of the perfumes that I picked out and the less Jo Malone is if, if I can say that. Um, it lacks the simplicity and elegance that she brings to perfumes and that touch of sophistication. So Fleur de Petrudy is a pass for me. And the final scent we have is Water Lily Tea Dress. This is a floral scent. It has notes of bergamot, spearmint, and musk. And to me, this perfume is a super fresh green floral scent that just reminds me of spring. This is the perfect spring scent. I actually have a bit of a feeling of cut grass so it's it's clean it reminds me for some reason of an English summer and it's true actually what they say I think the quote in here is picnic in the park let's have a look soft jazz music plays in the background picnics on the lawn a vintage tea dress floats by in the gentle breeze so I 100% agree this definitely reminds me of a British summer when you're having a picnic on the grass with a floral dress this is exactly what this perfume is. This perfume is on the similar lines to Pleasures by Estee Lauder, but it's less musky, more floral, and I find that the floral is more faceted in this perfume than in Pleasures by Estee Lauder. So, the verdict is the following. I genuinely believe that these fragrances are really good. I think it is a fantastic collaboration that Jemalon has done with Zara, and out of the five that I've picked out, I have smelt a sixth one. I think that they're good quality scents. The the only downside is that for Eau de Parfum, they do not last at all. So they last maximum four hours on your skin, so they have more of an eau de toilette lasting effect rather than an eau de parfum. But you know, this is what you're getting for the price and it's quite reasonable and you know what, these fragrances are quite portable, they have these roll-ons which you can throw into a bag and just reapply throughout the day. As for the fragrances that I reviewed today, I have two favorites. The first one is Vetiver Pompemousse which is the one that I said was the most Jo Malone-like. I think this is a great citrus scent, especially coming from someone who doesn't like citrus, this is saying a lot. It is the most unisex one that I've tried so far. And then, of course, we have also Water Lily Tea Dress, which is this very fresh floral scent, which I would probably wear during the springtime. So that was my take on the Jo Malone and Zara collaboration. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Let me know if you've tried any of the fragrances in the comments below. Perhaps you've tried any of the other three that I haven't reviewed or you've tried the ones that I reviewed. Let me know what your thoughts are and I will see you in the next video.